All right, folks. Just want to do a quick video here, talking a little bit about knife maintenance um, and, and cleaning. And so, what I'm going to do, um, this is a knife that I use a lot. You can see it's pretty, pretty nasty, pretty boogered up. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this knife. We're going to break it down, uh, take it apart. We're going to lube it and uh, put it back together, make sure everything's working okay. Um, that's really it. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, the first thing we have to do, which really sucks, is uh, cut this lanyard off. Because in order to take this knife apart, this lanyard can't be here. It won't come apart with it there. So let me go over here, get a pair of scissors. It's okay because I've got more in this cord. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to take some of these, some of these pins, some of these screws out. I've already taken the slot, the uh, the bits out that I need. But if you don't have one of these um, Benchmade kits, you're missing out. You really should get one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start back here. Is that going to fit in there? Is it the one that fits? Yeah. And I'm just going to take this pocket clip off. And the clip that holds that in place. All right. The next thing I do, I'm going to do. Sorry about that. I had a pop-up come up on the iPad. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pivot out. Actually, let me loosen this up. This is the screw that holds the the lock bar in place. Let's see if we can get that spinning. I'll take that one out first because I'm a lazy bastard and I don't want to change the bit twice. There. That sucker's in there. My buck tool, multi tool. Um, I've had this thing for probably twenty some twenty five years. I just leave it on the desk and use it for stuff like this. All right, let's let's tackle this pivot real quick. Now I've never taken a Dragonfly two apart, which is what this is. Um, I've taken apart numerous Delicas and Enduras, so I can't imagine it's not that different. But there's springs in here, so you gotta you gotta expect some stuff to fly around a little bit. I heard something. So there's the blade. If you look in there, there is no washers. See, so it's a, it's a relatively simple construction. And you can see the lock sticking up right there. That'll probably snap right back into place. Um, there may not be any need to further break this down. So we're going to leave it like that. Let's take a look at this this festering blade that we looked at. So when I have a blade that's this dirty, the, uh, the first thing that I typically do is take something like this rubbing alcohol and use that to clean the, the blade. Rubbing alcohol works really, really well. What it does is it breaks down any fat because uh, most fats are uh, alcohol soluble. When I say fat, I'm talking about oil or anything like that that might get on there. Um, the other thing is, is that alcohol does a great job getting off things like glue or residue from tape. It uh, really is the first thing that I go to. And I'm sure there's stronger sol solvents out there. Like you could probably use acetone or something like that, but rubbing alcohol has been my go-to for a long, long time. And uh, I've never had a problem with it. Now some people will be like, Smoking ape, you should have taped that blade. And you're probably right, but I want to clean it first. And, uh, you know, on the Smoking Ape channel, we tend to live a life of danger. <laughs> so I don't tape the blades. Now one of the things is that when you use this rubbing alcohol to clean this, you're also taking any kind of lubrication that you have around the pivot and you're getting rid of that and so we have a trick to fix that too 
So you saw how grimy that was. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Just got some fingerprints on there now. So, like I said, rubbing alcohol. That's what you want to use to clean the blade. And when I look in there, I'm not seeing anything too bad. Um, nothing that warrants pulling this whole thing apart, so I, I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that... I'm going to give them innards a quick squirt of ballastol. I like ballastol. I think some people make it more controversial than it needs to be. And you know what? If I'm not taking this apart, I could have got away with leaving that lanyard on there. But I'm just going to give this a quick quick spritz in there on the pivot. You know what? Let's do this. Just push that pivot out real quick. Take a look at it. It doesn't look too bad, now does it? We'll just give that a quick drying. Make sure there's no goobers on it. Put that washer back in there. Drop that pivot back in place. We'll go ahead and we'll spray a whole bunch of that down in there real good so it goes into it. All right. Now we need to get this blade back in there. So I'm going to hold that pride open. And look at that, it went in. Oh, no it didn't. This is the part where it gets a little tricky when everything's all greased up. And slippery. Uh oh. Where did that thing go? Let me get you back on screen. Being on screen makes everything a little bit more difficult. There we go. We are back together. Got the other pivot screw, we'll put that on there. Next thing is going to be putting the uh, pivot for the lock back in place, and that's going to require this to be switched out. And this one is using a T6. That works pretty well. I mean, I guess you could uh, adjust it so it's so it's spidey flickable, but uh, that's not really important to me. With a little teeny knife like this, I'd prefer to open it in a more controlled manner. All right, so we got that. Now I'm a lefty, so we got to figure out how this how this pivot's going to work. If I remember correctly, this went in on the right face. And then we got this started over here. Maybe it was the other way around. And it probably doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. Apparently it does matter. Ooh. 
<laughs> Everything's all greased up from that battle stall, so it's making it tough. These um, Spiderco spider wire pocket clips are my favorite pocket clip of any knife ever made. Uh, the only problem with them is, is that they tend to get caught on things sometimes, and they can get bent up pretty quick, pretty easily. But uh, they're like the perfect amount of tension. There we go, folks. That was a quick and easy video. Um, this is back together. I will. I had gotten a request on, you know, how do you clean or what do you do to keep your knife maintained. Um, so I'll do a couple more of these videos on different types of knives with different types of locks. Uh, this knife didn't have things like uh, uh, washers or bushings or anything like that in there. So we'll do a couple more that uh, have a more complex configuration. But uh, this is one of the knives that I use more than any other. Um, it's not my most carried knife, but I, I use it all the time. Like at home, uh, if I'm not carrying it, it sits in the kitchen on a counter, like in a little EDC box that I have. And uh, I use it for, I mean, everything. Uh, the full flat grind on it, the VG10 steel sharpens up really nice. It maintains an edge reasonably well. Um, it's got a great traction plan. It's very comfortable. It's uh, just the right size. It's a great knife. Can't say enough things about it. Anyhow, that's it, folks. Thanks.